God can do anything. Yeah, I said anything. When I say God can do anything, I'm taking in consideration that there are people here that are dealing with things that are beyond their ability, beyond their stress level, beyond their pressure level. There are people here that are dealing with sicknesses. There are people here that are dealing with loss, financial loss, physical loss, job loss. There's, there's even health concerns that have brought about loss to their family. I'm coming today to tell you that no matter what you're dealing with, no matter the sickness, no matter the hardship, no matter who is against you, no matter how long you've been in this battle, no matter how desperate it seems, no matter the news that you've received, no matter the enemy that you face, no matter the mountain that is before you, no matter how dark the valley is that you're walking through, no matter the sin, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, no matter the fall, no matter the failure, I've come to tell you, God can do anything. Anything. Preacher, why would you make such an emphatic statement? God can do anything. Why would you go out on a limb? Why would you tell people that no matter what's going on, God has the power to meet that need? I'll tell you why today. Because the God that we serve is the creator of everything. Did anybody hear me? He is the creator of everything. And that includes you. The Bible said all things, including you, were made by Him and for Him. Not only did He create everything, God sustains everything. He sustains you. He sustains your life. He'll sustain your family. He'll sustain your finances. He'll sustain your health. He'll sustain your job. But you've got to put your trust in a God that can. He's the Lord over everything. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He holds the world in the palm of His hand. The Bible said in Isaiah 40 and 12, Who else has held the ocean in His hand? Who has measured off the heaven with His fingers? Who else knows the weight of the earth or has weighed the mountains and the hills on a scale? That's the God you serve. That's your God today. That's the God that loves you. That's the God that cares about you. That's the God that lives inside of you. God can do anything. The Bible said God sits on the throne. Not only do I believe that God can do anything, I firmly believe that there are many things that only God can do. Listen to me when I tell you there's too many Christians looking in the wrong places for the answers to their problems. The answer is God. I said the answer is God. The answer is not money. The answer is not what the address of your house is. Oh, if I just lived in that neighborhood, I'd be a happy person. Oh, if I could just drive that car, if I just had this bank account, if I just had that education, if I just had these friends. Honey, you are looking in all the wrong places. God is the answer. And there's a lot of things that happen in our life that nobody but Him has the answer for. Only God can transform a life. Let me tell you a few of the other things only God can do. Only God can forgive sin. Only God can save a lost soul. Only God can heal a body. Only God can cleanse the heart. Only God can grant new life. 
Only God can fill an empty life with a brand new spirit. Only God can wash away my sins. Only God can take away the sadness and replace it with joy. Only God can change a life forever. Only God can move mountains. Only God can give you perfect peace. Only God can make a way where there seems to be no way. Only God can restore what is broken. Only God can take a life like yours and mine and make something amazing out of it. Only God can bring you peace. Only God can calm the storm. That ain't the tip of the iceberg of the things that only God can do. And one of the biggest mistakes we make in life is trying to find another source for what only God can do. When we have nothing left but God, that's when we know that God is enough. When we get to the place where there's nothing left but God. That's when we learn, friend, that God is enough. I've come to tell somebody today God can. I've come to tell somebody today that God is enough. I've come to tell somebody today that God can do anything. Is there anybody here that's on the bottom looking up? Because if you are, you are in a prime place to find out that God is enough. When we come to the revelation, the understanding that God is enough, that's when we learn that thing the Bible talks about and calls trust. Trust. We have it in our mind what we think is hard about living for God. The hardest thing you'll ever do as a child of God is that thing called trust. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge Him. One version of the Bible says, Are you ready for this? Ignore what you think you know. Lean not to thine own understanding. Try to forget what you think you know. Try to forget what you think you've learned. Because trust don't make human sense. Trust isn't logical. Putting your trust in God, every school teacher you've ever had, every professor you've ever had, every godless relative you have has told you it is foolishness to put your trust in a God you can't see. But when you've been to that place I'm talking about, where you're laying flat on your back in the bottom of a pit, when there's nobody to get you out, when there's no hope, there's no help, there's nobody there, when it's either God saves me or I'm going to die right here, either God's going to save me or I'm going to perish right here, when you have nothing left but God, honey, that's when you find out that God is enough. And it's when we find out through those kind of situations that God is enough. That's when we learn to trust Him. I said that's when we learn to trust Him. And if you trust Him, you're going to let Him turn your mess into a message. You're going to let Him turn your test into a testimony. You're going to let Him turn your trial into a triumph. You're going to let Him turn you from being a victim into being a victor. When you trust Him. Preacher, you don't know what I'm going through. I know I don't. But I know the God that I serve. And I'm telling you, He can turn around any situation. He can overturn any circumstance. God can do anything. God will turn any obstacle into an opportunity. Because God cannot and God will not fail. 
You can trust God when he can't be seen. You can trust God when he can't be heard. You can trust God when he can't be felt. Even when we don't know how things are going to work out, trust God. Even when it seems like all hope is gone, trust God. See, trusting him brings you to the place that when to everybody else it looks like things are falling apart when you trust Him you know it means that things are actually falling in place you know that there's things that we're going to go through that how you look at those things is going to determine how they come out You can either determine this is going to destroy me. Or you can determine when this is all said and done, God is going to get glory out of my life and out of this situation. What are you going through right now? What is the biggest obstacle in your life today? What is the mountain that looms in front of you? What is it that's causing you stress and anxiety? What is it that you're afraid of? I've come to tell you this morning that God can't fail you. That God won't fail you. That God can. God can do anything.